my students. My name is Jagan Mohan, Chipley Department, from Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Hyderabad. Today we will see what is the synchronous impedance method of an alternator. So, here we are going to take the readings of the voltage up to the rated voltage and up to the rated current. So, first we are going to do the open circuit and next we are going to do the short circuit and we are going to take the readings up to the rated voltage and rated current. These are the name plate details. So, you can see the what is the rated speed. So, the rated speed is 1500 rpm and the current is 4.5 amps and the voltage is 450. So, when we are performing the experiment, we will take up to the rated voltage and rated current only. So, first we are going to do the short circuit, uh, we are going to do the open circuit and we are going to take the values of up to the rated voltage. Next, we are going to do the short circuit and we will take the values up to the rated current. So, first thing, so we are giving the connections up to the, as per the circuit diagram, so that if you observe there is a 230 volts supply and there is a 3 point starter, okay, and there is a 3 point starter. So, with the help of this 3 point starter, we are going to start the, uh, we are going to start the, uh, we are going to, we are going to start, okay. So, after starting, so we have connected this to the uh, motor and the, these are, this, uh, these are connected to the motor and the alternator. If you observe, motor and alternator are coupled here. So, here we are going to use two rheostats, one rheostat for controlling the motor and another rheostat for controlling the alternator. So, the rheostat uh, which is connected to the motor will keep in the minimum position and the real start which is connected to the alternator we are going to connect in the maximum position. So, then we are we will take the readings up to the rated voltage. So, we have given connections as per the circuit diagram as per the circuit diagram. So, from this supply this is uh, plus is connected to the real start real start of the alternator and minus is connected to the another end of the rear start of the alternator. So, from this rear start we have connected to the ammeter for taking the current readings. Okay. Again, from this ammeter we have connected to the we have connected to the x x of the we have connected to the x. Next, from this we have connected then x x to the Z Z as per the circuit diagram. Z Z as per the circuit diagram. So again, from this R is connected to the voltmeter, and another end of the voltmeter is connected to the Y. Is connected to the Y. Okay. So again, so this A is connected to the ZZ, okay. Next, this A is connected to the this A, okay. So, again, this L is connected to the positive terminal. So, these are the connections we are going to perform the experiment. So, I have started the supply. So, first, I have put the rear starts in the rear start of the a motor in the minimum position of the alternator in the maximum position. So, I have I am using the three point starter for starting the experiment. So, slowly I am dragging the so I have the three point starter. So, now now you observe the motor has started. The motor has so, so first thing now we have what we have to do is so we have to set the motor up to the rated speed. So by slowly increasing the 
your start. So if you observe here, this is not the red speed is 1500, this is not at the red speed. So by changing, by increasing the rear start, I will set up to the red speed. You observe, I am slowly increasing. So while I am increasing, you can observe the speed is changing. So I have set up to 1500 RPM. So now I have to set the voltage. If you observe the voltage is at zero, I have to set the voltage of the alternator up to 440, the rated voltage. So to increase the rated voltage, so I have to slowly decrease the rear start. So I am slowly decreasing. You can observe. You can observe here. So at point one, the voltage is at point one current, the voltage is 20 volts. So slowly I will go to up to point two. At point two, the voltage is 120 volts. At point 3, the voltage is nearly okay. nearly 90. 180, 180 volts. So at point 4, it is nearly 220. So at point 5, it will be nearly 220. Uh, point five is nearly what is it? Yeah. 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 Nearly three eighty. So like that we'll take the readings and we will we can take up to the rated voltage. Up to the rated voltage. So here you can see so it has gone up to now you can observe. At point 9, it is nearly 400. So, we can move up to the rated voltage. So, slowly we will decrease. After taking the readings, we will slowly keep the rear start at the starting positions. So, the rear start of the alternator at the maximum and rear start of the motor at the minimum positions. So the first part is over. Now we will slowly switch up the we'll slowly switch up. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.